Hey everybody, welcome to another video. So I have been looking around for exhaust system for my CVR500R RE70 purchase and looking at the prices for some of the exhaust systems, they go all the way up from I guess six to eight hundred dollars to all the way up to maybe two thousand dollars AUD that is. And I can't really justify paying that much money for something that cost uh, like I paid six grand for this one. 6,000 AUD dollars and I can't justify paying 10 to 20 percent of my bike's value just on a uh, just a basic exhaust system so I purchased this eBay special it's called KO Lightning slip-on that costed me roughly 120 um, AUD which is roughly I think 70 to 80 uh, US dollars and first impression is I mean it looks like to be fairly good quality so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this real quick and see is it worth paying I guess five times or even ten times the price of this um, if you just want more sound out of your bike okay before I take this off I'm just gonna quickly start it up uh, with a stock exhaust system so you can hear what it sounds like and then we will chuck on a new one. Alright, so bike is obviously cold right now, so this was a cold start and we will be doing the same with the new system as well. Okay, so take this off. Uh, it looks pretty straightforward. Looks like you have a bolt down here. This one right here. And just this one on the top, just under the passenger foot bag. So let's go and take these off. Okay, so these bolts look like 12 mil. So you can take your 12 mil and As I mentioned, this is 12 mil as well. It does have a nut in the back as well, but it doesn't look like you need to hold it. So this comes up. Might save this in case I need to put this one back. On. Okay, I believe this should just slip off. There you go. Does weigh quite a bit actually. So stock one is out. So I'm not gonna bolt everything up just as of yet. I will show you the sound with DB killer. It's got DB killer removed right now. So let's see how loud it is without DB killer and then we'll put it in and see how, how much of a difference it makes. Okay, so we've got the DB killer installed inside. See how it sounds with the DB killer. Just put this on. Just a 
hold it like this. And let's see. better it's still really loud with DP killer in there as well so I will f uh, hook all this up let's hook all this up and see how it sounds like in the end all right this took a lot of effort um, it's working on cars and bikes is never as straightforward as what people or companies make it out to be um, this is basically how it's gonna sit um, I'm slightly concerned. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. There's um, enough clearance, I think, for the swing arm. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just gonna start her up just to see how it sounds like. And if I'm happy with everything, I'm just gonna tighten everything up. Everything is loose at the moment. So, let's try this out. Everything is now installed. It actually looks really amazing. I will show you the photos of before. Uh, this is a photo of before how it looked like. And this is a photo of how it looks like right now. Uh, I'm probably gonna go for a bit of ride and I'll show you what it sounds like after it's warmed up. Okay, so we are just gonna go for a quick ride. I'm sorry to my neighbors, I guess. Um, I don't have any expensive um, equipment right now, so I've just got my iPhone uh, kind of stuck under the seat, in the rear seat, uh, with voice recordings. I'm hoping that can pick up some of my exhaust audio, because with the wind noise, my GoPro is not really gonna pick anything up. So let's see.
Alright guys, just went for a bit of a ride. Uh, my camera battery died, so I'm just filming this on my phone. Hopefully it can pick up the noise well. Um, it sounds awesome. It sounds so good. It's like pops and bubbles and everything. Uh, I guess it did that in stock exhaust as well, but it's so much more noticeable now. So we're just going to start her up and show you how it sounds like. Just go on the other side. There it goes. Um, so my conclusion is I think overall it does sound really good. Um, I don't think if you're after something that is a bit more louder than stock, I don't think you need to spend thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars for it. I can't really comment on how long it will last, but looking at the quality, I don't see why it wouldn't last long. Um, my overall comment would be i think it is it is a bit loud uh riding around i'm not sure about expensive ones if they are as loud as this but if you have um um earplugs or earphones or anything uh, in your ear when you're riding to block out wind noise i don't think you will have as much of an issue so overall i'm really happy with my purchase i'm just gonna ride around i'm obviously enjoying it a lot more uh riding now with the noise uh, as compared to before so thank you for watching everybody i'll catch you on the next one